Hello class, everyone get to your seats, we've got a lot to cover today. We are continuing our lecture series on the Keepers and things are only going to ramp up from here. Where we last left off, Virgil and Jaquees had overcome what felt like the universe itself throwing something that they were incredibly ill-equipped for directly at them in the form of two large territorial bird Pokemon. Their unlikely victory was a strong reminder of the power of wits and the mind over sheer force, and an important confidence boost leading into the encounter to come. Now that our young initiates are feeling better about their abilities and Pandora doesn't feel like she has to babysit them, as much as she did anyway, our trio of keepers are making their way into Amanita Town to begin tracking down the beasts threatening the dusty settlement. What do the people of Amanita Town know about these awful creatures? What has happened to the unfortunate souls who have encountered them already? And will Team Catapult get the information they need before the beasts come again? Let's find out in our latest installment, Amanita Aberrations. Well, friends, we are back as Pandora finishes her slow clap. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Uh, okay. Wait, hold on. And uh, Jake Weez runs to the, the foot of the tree and pulls out like a whole bag of Gorp and like sprays it on the ground and looks up to where there are definitely no Pokemon still in the area and says, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Enjoy this fruit and nut combination. <laughs> Accept it as an offer of peace um, you did really step to us, though. You really did step to us, but sorry. They attacked us. Yeah, they, they attacked us. We weren't seeking it out at all. Like, they drew on us, it for was, sure. It was def. yeah, we were, we had no intention of... We didn't come out here looking for a fight at all. No. We were just looking for Pokemon. But God felt fit. And man, we found some Pokemon. <laughs> Flicked. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, enjoy the Gorp. Bye, sorry, and I leave. <laughs> and I go back to the Pandora. <laughs> I think I, I, I start, uh, I, I'm going to check on Chud, because he survived several falls from heights. <laughs> he did. Uh, he certainly did. Uh, some brutal moments, and I think I think he's not that beat up. Like, I think, I think, <laughs> I, I don't he know He certainly that, has barely noticed. I, I, th I don't think he's noticed. I think he's just dirty. Like, I think he's just dirty, and I think by the time I get over to him, he's not emanating the red is fading from his eyes and the or purple, purple aura I think it's is. gone and I think I'm just like uh chud buddy <gasps> yeah okay yeah. I'm gonna pick him up and put him on my back chud my chud sack <laughs> your chud sack that's what it is uh chud does however oh, yeah. look uh thicker than he did before your terrible children leveled up from from that experience so my let's talk about it terrible. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Pat Elaine on the head, who uh, is very sweet. He's a very sweet owl. Uh, he leveled up, but I think he only got like proficiency yeah. upgrade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so he doesn't look that much beefier, but he's just a he's a he's a competent boy, and he's feeling very confident. <laughs> he has he has smoothed out his uh, feather goatee. He has. Yeah, <laughs> he looks even more uh, evil and refined. Hoot 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 hoot. <laughs> Merci, hoot hoot. <laughs> and uh, I put him away, bring out Chev, and sort of drape him on my neck, and he's too injured to really deal with it. But he just has, like, this really smug, lazy smile. <laughs> oh, he's yeah. He's still holding the bone, and, oh, I wonder if that's an item. Sorry. I don't want to <laughs> medicate. You know what? Since we specifically called out stealing the bone from the Mandibuzz, I, I got charcoal. Think, yeah. Yeah, you got charcoal earlier, so I think it's only fair. Here's, here's Which I didn't use that. at all. I don't know if bone is D, an item. I had a D6 plus four. Oh, true. And a plus five to hit with ember. There is a bone item. Oh, God. What does it do? <laughs> it has nothing to do with what Chef does. He just likes it. It's a good bone. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good bone. Is it good bone? Bone and nut. <laughs> I'm just gonna get I'm gonna get Chud while we're while we're looking this up. I'm gonna get Chud to uh water gun into like a little canteen and I'm gonna wash him off with it. Oh, nice. You do I'm that. Gonna, I'm gonna spend two uses of water gun to clean Chud. Done. Does that seem fair? I think that's fair. He's a big boy. Clean Chud. I feel like he needs two. 
and he's healing remarkably fast. No, there can't be too many. <laughs> there can't be that many cursed animals in our game. Too There's only many. one. Chuck's just good, and he's blubberous. Okay, blubberous. so we're going to say that technically, who knows what this thing's origin was uh, and how it ended up in the in the clutches of this Mandibuzz, but it was a thick club, which doubles the stab bonus of a Cubone or Marowax moves. So who knows where that came from? But it doesn't work on Chef. It doesn't work on Chef. It's a cool. It's, I think that that's gonna but be the trade-off. If one of us gets a Cubone or a Marowak, amazing. Thick Ugh. club. Thick club. All right, it's not. In it's a Cubone. Who knows? Or a Marowak, and that's what. Be, uh. All right, he's holding a thick club. I want to look for Pokemon <laughs> immediately. <laughs> I want one so bad. <laughs> I love Cubone. But with that, also your your guys leveled up as well, or your ladies and Chud. Uh. Ladies and Beldum and Chud. My, my ladies, my Beldum and Chud. Ellie almost leveled up, but she's not quite to five yet. Juniper leveled up to five and got her proficiency. My main man, Chud, leveled up and uh, got his proficiency. And then Beldum leveled up from two to four. Nice. And got some extra hit points, but also we picked up the uh, feet brawny, so he now counts as he counts as one size bigger for like carrying capacity mm -hmm. and he picked up i believe yeah the athletics skill unfortunately didn't already have it so it's not but it, it was okay it's all but good. picked up the skill yeah and so uh picked up a point in strength which gives him a plus three nice and now uh elaine got up and you dumped all that asi into wisdom right you just yeah. dumped full ASI for both of those? Uh, no, uh, Elaine, I did actually bump Khan. Oh, Khan, okay. So he was at a negative, and now he's just neutral. Nice. Okay, yeah. so some more hit points from that, so oh, that's yeah. nice. Significantly more. Yeah. Solid. And, uh, De I think Chev, I just bumped uh, uh, Dex as I am wounded to yes. you. Yes. Yeah, so what's his Dex now, like 14? Uh, it is 16. 16, mm -hmm. nice. So with that, I think that you all head back to the Iron Chariot with Pandora. She says, okay, I don't know what possessed you boys to go do that but uh well, well actually they attacked us we were just looking for pokemon i feel like i recall something said about finding some bad boys i don't know i though. don't i don't think that was me i think that's you hearing my player character again <laughs> or my player not my player character that's me <laughs> i don't know why you both are looking at me but you gotta stop <laughs> 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 you were just waiting for me to jump in the bit, and I said no. <laughs> That's that good improv. That's good no. Not uh, no, but just no, no. Period. I offer nothing. <laughs> Dear God, I have no comment to add. Oh, but uh, I think but as I feel usual, like we worked as a really good, really. Yeah, I, I point to the C on my on my my strap, kind of secretly to Jayquees. I'm like, we worked a, as a really a, good C, a good team. Good team. It was great teamwork. I mean, the fact that you all were both able to get in there and you're both al alive and yeah. all your Pokemon are up. So, yeah, that's well, a win. Not all. Beldum's not doing so hot. Oh, well, here, well, we'll, we'll heal Beldum up. We're, we're, oh. That's fine. I'm okay. sorry. I didn't. I mean, they're like, they're fine. If Beldum just got knocked out, Beldum's okay. He'll get up again. They'll get up. Oh, sorry. It's 420. I just want, I set a timer to make sure <laughs> that, uh, I remembered to say 420 because you said 417 and now it's 420. It's exactly 420. Thank you for that. <laughs> I'm a personal timer. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What a what? good joke. What a good goof. <laughs> are you guys laughing at home while you listen to this? Or do you, <laughs> or do you, do you, do you just want more story? Because right now we're just T-posing in front of Pandora while we laugh about weed. We're, we're spinning our wheels, man. <sighs> hey, so to the chariot? <laughs> hey, Sunker, give me some of that stun powder. <laughs> no, don't. Can I send Ellie to investigate and just look for something? Like where the they brush. were in the no, brush? On our way back. Sure. Just on our way back. Yeah, let Ellie... I don't want to distract from the plot of us getting back. <laughs> yeah, on your way back, Ellie can investigate. A 12 seems like y'all have combed through this area pretty well leading up to this. But she comes back up, and she's, she's got a stick. I throw it for her. What a good girl! But you all hop back in the chariot. Wow, and... say that a little bit more <laughs> eye-rolly. Jeez. I 100% meant it. Okay. <laughs> I really thought you were like, what a good girl, whatever. No. Okay. <laughs> I would never. 
So you guys are back in the chariot, and um, it hovers back in the air once again, and Pandora says, no, you all did great, honestly. I mean, the first one was a little more solid. The second one got a little touch and go. Yet you scary bird kind of they got the jump on you a little bit more than you got the jump on yeah. the other ones the first time, but they're that's also, okay. They're, they're also birds. Yes, and I don't think we really have anything to do with birds. I like a very... gun. <laughs> <laughs> what a cruel twist of fate that was. Do you have you any really... javelins? <laughs> what a cruel twist of fate. <laughs> I'm used to this thing now. It's by the way, almost like birds were like shot at us out of a cannon <laughs> oh. of justice. Out of a what? A. a Whoa, what did well, you just say? Did you say a catapult? Do I know what a cannon is? <laughs> no. <laughs> I've never heard of it. It's a 19. You've definitely not heard of a cannon. Like a shot out of a catapult? I yeah. can see that. By an angry cop. <laughs> <laughs> you pissed off Arceus? I guess. I know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you guys are back in the Iron Chariot, and it, it floats again, and you all are continuing to make your way toward Armanita Town. Uh, is there anything that you would like to ask Pandora about or anything on the way? Uh, she'll fully heal your Pokemon. Ooh, Pokemon oh. Center style. They're good. Ba, 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 ba. That's awesome. That's amazing. That's huge, actually, yeah, for she, me. She's got some ethers and stuff, and she makes sure that everybody's good to go. ether my Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> you creep up behind them. <laughs> <laughs> this is a disturbing world. I, I think I'm sitting crisscross in the in the back, near the near the back of the, the iron chariot. And I'm just gonna take my backpack off and switch it around and put Chud in between my legs. And just, ride, Chud. and just ride with Chud. Just ride with and Chud. And maybe feed him some snacks. I uh, think Ellie is probably doing the dog thing where they like sit on like the front of a boat or like stick their head out the window. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that read my mind. It. Yeah. <laughs> it from me. It's like, what was Jake Weiss was going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Not either. Chef. Both of Ellie and Jake Weiss yeah. like are. But there's no windows. So it's just like. It's sitting. just sort of around. Yeah. Top down. No, you're baby. still leaning over. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. In the chariot. Um, yeah. Even though there's no reason to lean over, you're leaning over. Just kind of enjoying it. And Chevy Chev is, is doing the cat thing where he's just laying completely still, but his tail is... He's nice. pleased. Chev is pleased. Chev is pleased. The bloodlust has been satiated. Hmm. For now. Hmm. Um, hmm. But so nothing, nothing else that you guys want to see to on the ride. Uh, no, I don't really have anything I have, I have in, in mind. I'm just sort of examining the territoire. Nice. Yeah. I think sightseeing is a good... I mean, I don't think we're going to see something be like, pull over the car! Uh, Unless uh, there's a cue bone, in which case I will jump off <laughs> at whatever speed we're traveling. I'll just ask, uh, what's Amanita Town like? Information gathering. This is smart, smart man. As we zoom through the Badlands. Amanita Town, well, it's... um. It's a smaller, it's it's not a very wealthy town. They kind of just do enough to get by for the most part. It's uh, on the edge of the Death Cap Desert. It pretty much just exists because it's on the crossroads uh, of the routes leading to uh, some other major cities. Yeah. So since it's right there at the crossroads, it just kind of popped up. So merchants coming through, places like that, if people, you know, are on the way to like, uh, you know, Shiitake to Chanterelle City or, or to Crimini City, anything like that, you know, they have a place to stop for the evening. Somebody's not, you know, riding with Hephaestus like we are, probably closer to two days oh, from wow. Shiitake to just uh, Amanita Town. So it's a nice little stopping point for, for folks, especially, you know, if they're yeah. going to any of those places. I've never been to Crimini. The world's pretty big. Oh, yeah. A lot of region out there. A lot of people in it, too. A lot yeah. of Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Huh. And different ones everywhere, all over the place. And I think Jake Lewis pulls his head in and just sort of like, I, I think mirroring Virgil sits uh, crisscross and just kind of mental states for a bit, thinking. Nice. So then with that, uh, as you all do a little bit of sightseeing as you were on Do we your know Pandora's down, last name? No. Okay. Just Pandora. I haven't invented them you know. yet. Cool. Well, I have a lot. You have a last name? Shut up. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, no, you don't. <laughs> But as you Don't all try and pull it out of my skull, either. <laughs> <laughs> but as you all do some more sightseeing and watch as the terrain shifts from uh, the bits of uh, land that are around to transitioning to more of some of the desert. What are you rolling, Andrew? <laughs> uh, nothing. I don't know. I was fake rolling perception checks. <laughs> I didn't know if you were looking to see if any other wild Pokemon were skittering about the place. I'm, I mean, I'm sure I'm seeing Pokemon. Ooh, ooh, question. Yes. Can I roll to just see something to add it to my Pokedex? Yeah, sure. 
Roll that D hundy. D hundred. Watch this be a hundred. I know. Pull over. <laughs> she jumps off. A two. A two. Perfect. This is the. Uh, yeah, I think I'm probably drawing the birds too. After I feed Shud some, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm just. I'm enjoying, like, drawing the things we've seen, cataloging them, things mm-hmm. about them. With a two, as you all are going about your way, uh, it is getting uh, closer and closer to sunset as you're approaching, and you do see up in the trees another bird. You see a murkrow in a, in a little gnarled tree. Oh, I uh, love murkrows. Those are cool. Yeah. They're cool. Okay. It's a little dude just chilling over there. Oh, he's fun. And Pandora says, oh, yeah, those... He's very Miyazaki. Those little guys are pretty common around here, especially at nighttime, obviously. Oh, wow. I draw it. <laughs> you draw it. Catalog it. As the sun sinks low in the sky, you see a small town on the horizon before you. You approach, gliding smoothly over the rough and stony road in the Iron Chariot. The buildings grow larger as you ride into town, and you see many rough structures made of uh, adobe and wood. You notice that a good number of them seem to have been damaged in some way, and that they've been boarded up and repaired in very sort of makeshift fashion, uh, at least for the time being. The people in town, uh, as you come in, seem to be hurrying about their business, trying to make their way back to their homes before it is fully dark outside. As you ride by, uh, coming in from the west, you see people take notice of you all, terrified, and move even faster toward their homes. That makes sense. Hi. You can try to make a a charisma check at disadvantage if you want. I love it. I'm doing it. I'm going to just slow this game down by checking. Just a straight charisma check? Straight charisma. Eight. People are moving quickly away from you all, seeing you ride into town on this floating metal death beast, one can only assume. I have a poke. <laughs> you can pet him. Name's Chud. You eventually, <laughs> as the Chud, people don't run eat from that. you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, As the people move away from you, you come to a stop in front of a worn building with boarded up windows and a roughly reinforced door. There's a sign on the front of the building that says, The Crafty Crag. What happened here? Probably whatever we're here to uh, deal with. It came into town? From the damage, surveying all of that, yeah, seems like it. That's terrifying. Well, that's why we're here. Yeah, no kidding. And Jake Weiss hops off. I don't know what check this would be, Mm -hmm. but can I look... Can I try and assess the damage to figure out an idea of this creature? Um, so trying like, to monster hunter this. Yeah, as you guys like get off of the chariot. What uh, happened here? <laughs> Where did it go? What happened here? <laughs> trying to ask my uh, apocalypse system. Investigate questions. a mystery. Um, yeah, I would say that you can go ahead and make an investigation check. Uh, you're specifically looking at the damage and trying to see sort of what might have happened from these this beast that came into town. I think that's my first instinct as well, if, if we want to do it together. Yeah, totally. Do you want to just provide assistance? Yeah. yeah. Well, that was huge. It went from a 6 to a 19. 19 plus 8, 27. I think that you do this uh, probably a little quickly, uh, as Pandora seemed yeah. like she was getting off of the chariot to go into this tavern. Yeah. But from what you gather quickly, it looks as though there are definitely slashes into some of the uh, sides of walls and things. Oh, some seem like there was a a bit of a slashing motion across or up or down, whatever the way might have been. And it also seems like uh, for a lot of them, there were uh, almost like two claws or whatever it might be next to each other. There are some that slash and then there are some that just look like punctures in walls and things as well. How big just as we're passing by and walking and following Pandora, like a fist sized puncture? There are some different ones that you look. You can see there are also some other punctures uh, you actually note uh, that go fully up the sides of some walls up to, like, the roof of some that seem to be of a different sort of puncture, sort of grabby, clawy, something or other like something than the slashing. through it? Do more I? like it was like, climbing. Oh, Yeah, more like, more like climbing. Okay, I was wondering if it was like Virgil. Holes, like, this is terrifying. Those are the two main types of damage that you can see. Is you can see some slashes, and a lot of those seem to have like two of something that have slashed through, or uh, whatever that claw or pincer or whatever it might have been. That same apparatus would have slashed some, and then sometimes just like jabbed straight in with whatever it was going after, and then Jet a crap. separate, but then a separate uh, sort of looking mark was left by whatever was climbing up. Yeah. But that is what you note with your 27. A, a as very we hurriedly go in. Yes, yeah. as you hurriedly go in. To the crafty crag. Cool, cool, cool. 
<laughs> I was trying to remember the tavern music, like the. Hey! Oh, I was gonna do like the. Wow! <laughs> was thinking Gwent. You notice as you go into this building that it seems like it's sort of like a half level up and then it goes into the ground a little bit more. But so you walk inside and down some steps to what is obviously a tavern. Inside you see handcrafted wooden furniture that doesn't have anyone sitting in it. The place is empty except for a small yellow bipedal Pokemon with big eyes and what look like saggy pants sitting on the bar cleaning out some goblets with a rag. And then there is a small sleeping- I try and catch it. <laughs> Uh, a small sleeping hippo looking Pokemon near the door that just sort of lazily looks up as you walk in and then just goes back to its sleep. I'm going to go up to the barman and order a shot of tequila. <laughs> can I Pokedex both of these Pokemon? Yeah. You can add to your Pokedex a Scraggy and a Hippopotas. Listen, I don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> can I tell that the Hippopotas is what would grow up to be what we fought earlier. Yeah, I think so. You can see with sort of the, the body shape and yeah. some other stuff and also the fact that there is We're just learning. sand on the ground near it. Uh -huh. I don't say that. I, I follow uh, your, uh, your uh, Pandora. <laughs> Pandora's more of a dex build. But so you go in and as you go up to uh, order a shot of tequila from the scraggy at the bar, <laughs> Pandora calls out, Datura! and a human emerges from the office door behind the counter. Jaquies, describe them. They have beautiful black plated hair, uh, an undercut. They're tall and they have, well, their, their eyes are sullen. <laughs> their skin is tawny. <laughs> no, I, I think the black plated hair mm -hmm. and um, really beautiful vest. Mm, like a very a nice deep vest. deep red vest. Ooh, And nice. Uh, a nice angular nose. Like a Roman. Roman nose. Nice, nice, nice. So uh, this figure, Datura, comes out from behind the bar uh, from their office, and they say, oh, Pandora, it's so good to see you, and, and comes out from behind the bar, and think, I thought you were going to be uh, sending just, just recruits, but you've, well, you know, I, I originally came to just babysit, but now I'm just here to watch, I think. Uh, and she just turns to you all. Datura, these are our newest initiates. This is Virgil and Jaquies. Hail and well met. Hail, hail and well met. I'm Jaquies. I'm Virgil. Good to meet you. It's good to meet you. Hail and well met. Hail and well met. They say, so you're here to uh, to help us with, uh, with the beasts that have that have been coming into town? Uh, beasts? Multiple? It's, it's two. It's two? It's two. I forgot that bit of uh, <laughs> canon. I don't, I don't forget any. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yes, yeah. Uh, what are they? Uh, we were looking at the punctures and the, tracks, the slashes. Yeah, the tracks they made. What happened? Um, well, we're not entirely sure. Not everyone has actually seen them. Obviously, after they came into town after the first time, uh, people were very skittish. And then, well, after the second, you know, boarding up windows and everything. And now here we are and pr nobody's really going out at night anymore. And so it's mostly just that we hear them. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, like, they might come tonight? They very well might. Is there anybody who's had eyes on this thing? Well, uh, there is... I think Jake Weez is fascinated. I think Crazy he's... Daniel! He <laughs> saw him! <laughs> he, his hair turned white that night, and he won't speak to us. He's boarded himself up in the old granary mill. <laughs> <laughs> the old silo. <laughs> he just stares in the corner the whole time. I think Jake Weez is in, like, full-on, like, in, like inspector. He, this has really <laughs> fascinated <laughs> him. <laughs> Datura says, well, um... The, the most recent person who, who would have seen anything and maybe, you know not too hysterical to actually uh, describe it because ah. uh, there have definitely been uh, some other folks who um, understandably uh, have had some adverse reactions to seeing these things uh, more so because well people are missing at this point oh and, um, what <laughs> they're missing like dead Pandora what, what do we do Datura says like air quote like does air quote they're missing <laughs> huh uh, do we uh, need to find them first? or Maybe we should go talk to old man Daniel. That's what you were about to say, right? Uh, I knew it. Well, no, there was, there was a fellow named Rumbus Rumbus who used to live here, but he moved out to Shiitake. Never heard of him. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> No, we met him. I just wanted to say no again. <laughs> she says, um, I wanted but, to know your no. <laughs> but Datura says, well, the last night, um, 
the beasts, uh, well, they, they wrecked Nima's farm uh, out on the outskirts of town, so you could try there. We think that she probably saw them. Uh, she's just sort of been at her place today, and some folks have been helping her try to clean up, but you could try out there. You can you can check and look around town. We're all at a loss, obviously. None, none of us are really trainers here. I mean, I, I have, you know... My my Pokemon here and some other folks do, but it's more as helpers, not you know very I like much your less. Pokemon. As, oh, thank you. Yeah, they're sweet, perfect beans. Can I confer with my associate for a moment? Sure. We sure. do this a lot as business partners and teammates. Give us one moment, please. Virgil. Yes. If are people dying? I, I, quotations like like yes, they died. They they want us to go after like but like it, I'm like, twelve. Harvested humans. But I'm a twelve year old. Ho- okay, hold on a second, right? So people have been either taken or are in some way missing. Right, but so they're they, not trainers. But right, they're just civilians. Yeah, citizens. just people. Hail and well met. Hail and well met. We're Team Catapult. Hell and well met. I came into this with a completely different understanding of other people's mortality. Look, I'll tell you, again, for some reason, I don't fear death, but this thing's maybe, like, eaten other humans. Then we gotta stop it, right? We have to. Yeah. Okay, so Nima's farm. Yeah, we could go there and get some information. We could also look outside at the other stuff. Yeah. A little bit longer. We kind of rushed in here because Planet 4 was, but... Do they... Do the beasts, are they coming to find people? I don't know. If that's why they're here. That's, well, they might be, they might be, it might be food. We might, we might be able to bait them. Right. But we also could maybe like figure out what's making them do this, solve that problem. And then they go away without us having to. You're a genius. Hurt them. Like what is the environmental shift that has caused them to start doing this? Oh my God. Is it capitalism? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, It'd be feudalism. (laughs) Sorry. uh, It might be. You don't know. uh, The Enclosure Act hasn't been passed yet. (laughs) (laughs) There's no such thing as like a merchant class, really. There might be. Uh, I don't know anything about the history of Kanoko. Um, Well put. If we can keep them, and then maybe if there's something about their territory, maybe that's where they've taken the people. Right. We might be able to save them if we act quickly. Unless it ate them. Unless it straight up ate humans. Unless it ganked those people. <laughs> oh my god. Unless it just straight up capped them and just just gob them up yum. Can you hold my hand for a second? Unless it vored all those people. <laughs> You're doing a bit and I appreciate it, but okay. I'm freaking out. I hold your hand in real life. I can't tell if it's awkward or not. Super like this is just okay. Okay. We can handle this. Yeah. And we turn around Because we did not walk away. <laughs> no, you just Detura? did in place. That's their name, Detura? Yeah, Detura is their name. If that was strange, I apologize. We're trying to work out our sort of employment strategies. Yeah, we're new. But I do think that we I feel can very green. kick butt. Yes. And hopefully save people. But is there anything else, any other leads? Like, do you know where what direction from town they come they come into town from? I have not personally yeah. seen them. Okay. I've been tucked away. I, I haven't been out in the evenings. Uh, obviously, Isolating. nobody's been here at night either. They've Distancing. all just gone home. Yeah. Um, this is affecting your business. Yes. The gravest sin of all. <laughs> <laughs> the capitalism. <laughs> they're like, they're like, can you get out and work during this pandemic? <laughs> Please? They're about to cancel the Kanoko UI benefits. <laughs> ha ha. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's becoming villagers. No, no we got to re- go reel, reel it in. Reel it back in. in. Back off. We're not in South Bend. So Nima's farm and the town itself might have some clues. Yeah, I mean, you can you can certainly try to see if you can get anything from folks who, who know people who have gone missing or anything like that and, and might have seen anything. Yeah. Um, I, I, you can you can check at town hall, uh, see if the mayor knows anything. Uh, you can certainly lo- look around. Uh, obviously, it's close to sunset now, so some folks might not be too keen on opening the door or whatever. But you might be able to to yeah. get a hold of some people. So thank you. I am going to send okay. you boys. I'm really cute, so they'll probably open the door for me. They'll be I- like, "Who's this lost child?" And they'll <laughs> open the door for me. <laughs> I'm really zen and approachable, and I keep people from feeling uh, out of... We're very approachable as a team. Yeah. 
as you uh, loudly remark about how approachable you are, I'm going to send you boys a map of Amanita Town. <gasps> I'm going to need a minute to look at this map. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, listeners, did you enjoy that joke as much as we did? I hope so. We had a good laugh. We actually had to cut all the laughter that we had at that joke. We had to cut it because it was just too long. It was like three hours we just spent rolling on the floor at this. Um, Chev Muggs Virgil. <laughs> <laughs> Taking his backpack. No! <laughs> Not my Chud your, your, your held <laughs> item, Chud. Chud sack. Uh, awesome. Chud. Well, thanks. Uh, oh, cool. I keep thinking Sathura. What a good movie. <laughs> it's really underrated, but it's actually a pretty decent little Jumanji knockoff. <laughs> Uh, did they give us a map? Uh, they did not give you a map. I'm just sending it to you so cool. you know where you can look around. We just have the knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> if you're if you're wanting to like look around, be like, let's check out the west side. It's like, hey, Jaquees, uh, d- just a guess. They're probably wait, hold on a second. And I turned to Virgil. <laughs> they're probably coming from the desert because that's where the farm is. That would be my guess. Is that they came in from like the area of the desert, right? Oh gosh. Like, I'm guessing? That's a guess. An educated guess, but it's a guess. You are very educated, and I do not say that in, like, a like a, like a, like a mean sense. Like, you are. So I trust your educated guess. Let, let, let guess. Let, I, I think we're right on the right track. Let's talk to Nima and check out town. Yeah. Let's check out Screw the, the mayor! <laughs> no, what? I hate mayors! <laughs> no, we should probably also talk to the mayor. I feel like as much information gathering as we can possibly do, and then maybe if we could like set some traps, like some punchy traps, <laughs> so, so the like, mayor falls in a trap. <laughs> yes, let's kill the. <laughs> let's take over this town with our very powerful Pokemon. Sorry, uh, no right. one can stop us. Let's go to Mayor Scoot's house. <laughs> <Mayor's- laughs> uh, We're going to the farm, right? Pandora. Is- oh, whoops. Any other? Do you have any other intel, or, or is this as fresh to you as it is to us? Pretty much the recap from uh, Datura there was was about all that I knew going in, so we're about on the same page. And I'll again, I'll shadow you all just to make sure that yeah. you know, nothing goes south. But I, I think you've got this, and I appreciate that, Datura. We're we're gonna get rolling because if people are in danger, then we sh- we should move pretty quick, right? Yeah. Qu- question: What time is it exactly? What time is it exactly? Yeah. Uh, they look down at their sundial and they realize they're inside. Um, oh, it's probably about seven. I know exactly when it is. It's seven. It's about seven. It's so about what? seven. So it's like six fifty-three and thirty-four seconds. Well, thirty-five now. Yeah, I know. Okay, do I know when the sun goes down here? Sun goes down. I mean, it's like or well, like, it's well on its way. By like seven thirty, it's going to be like. Night. Okay. I mean, it's still like it's not going to be like dark, dark night. Like, right. But, you know, but the sun will do be we, over the horizon by like seven. Do, do you know what time like these attacks have been kind of happening around, or is it just kind of uh, after dark? Or? It's usually been later. Okay. So well, I think more we got late some time. Maybe gotta we start be close at the farm. to midnight. Start at the farm. That seems thematically something. <laughs> what do you think? Like start the mayor's the right there. Apparently. Oh, the, is the mayor right next to us? Shipow. I missed that. Maybe we should go talk to the mayor on the way. Yeah. Hit, hit it up on the way. Absolutely. Shiboy. Shiboy. Yeah, yeah, brat. Thank you, Tatora. Gang, gang. <laughs> God. Uh, what is your gang? No, no. We're, <laughs> we're, we're a team. team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy with that. <laughs> and I, I, I say goodbye and well met. <laughs> Good, goodbye. Hope, well met. Hope to bring good news in a bit. Yep. Yes. All right, well, we, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Uh, obviously, uh, when you all finish whatever business, you can, you can stay here or whatever you need. Just thank you for coming and helping. Do you have tequila? What? You ask the Scraggy, and the Scraggy just pulls out a bottle from behind the counter and sets it right there. I mean, not a whole bottle. I was a little, I mean, I just haven't had a, I mean, you know, Sabine never let me, so I would just wanted to, you know what? I'll come back later. <laughs> go ahead. The, scra- the Scraggy shrugs. The Scraggy shrugs. That's a hard thing to the say. Scraggy shrugs. The Scraggy, the scraggy shrugs, shrugs and scraggy puts shrugs, the bottle the back shrugs. under the counter. It wasn't me. <laughs> um, put the kid on the counter. It wasn't, it wasn't me. me. Uh, so I'm going to follow him out. Does Pandora follow like right behind us? Is she going to stay and talk for a little bit? I mean, she'll just ask you, do you want me to tag along with you, or do you just want me to be in the area? I mean, again, oh. you can... If we go out to the farm, can you be here just in case yeah. like, it comes and we just have so, to? Yeah, we just so we covered. 
the people. Sure, you know sure. I mean? I'll, I'll stay here people. while you all are investigating. I can I can stay here and make sure that nothing goes poorly here. If if yeah, you know, there's a false lead or anything like that. Uh, how well versed are you in the various lores of Pokemans? I'm pretty well versed. I know you weren't asking me. Fairly well versed. I, I. Do you have a thought of what it might be? I mean, it's something scorpion-like, and there's there are Pokemon you know that have those kind of traits in the area. Yeah. Can I buy some nuts? Sure. Yeah. You want you want to open your tab? I would love to. Do you need any? It's on me, buddy. I think I'm okay. Actually, I uh, would like three if you have them. Yeah, three Pokeballs? Yeah, she she puts three Pokeballs on your tab. Love it. Debt. <laughs> <laughs> Capitalism. <laughs> That's usury. You take out a mortgage. <laughs> a mortgage. When we get out of the tavern. Mm-hmm. Hey, Jaquees. Yeah. When do you think we should start telling people we're Team Catapult? The thing is, they already have, like, their team thing, like, the keepers and all. No, I know, but, like... And I like, don't want to, like, like, like make them feel be. like we're, like, rivals, because we're not. I don't think... Yeah, I think it would be, like, a subset. Like, yeah. oh, you, you ordered the... You, you want the keepers to come help you. Who do you want? Do you want Team Scary Lady with Demon Dog? Do you want Team Catapult? Do you right. want Team D- Danger Sword Man? Magic? Jesus Man, apparently? Yeah. Like, God. You know, God, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, do you want him? Like you, Faust? Faust, yeah. Do you want do you want Team s- Faust? D- terrible magic boys? Or do you want like Team Catapult? Yeah. Come to the rescue. Or Animal Nurse? Yeah. Team Mom. Team Mom. Um Team Mom and Dad. Uh but so here's my thought. Team Mr. Mom. What? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What? Okay. My mom was not a Mr. Mime. Okay, Go ahead. I might cry. Are you getting younger with me? What? Okay, never no, mind. I'm you cool. said something strange and you're like, it's a buzz. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not regressing. <laughs> he, he puts his hair back down where it was coming up into two points on the sides. Don't you do this to me. <laughs> you're doing it. You're the one that keeps bringing it up. <laughs> I'm going to poop right now. If <laughs> well, the no, Pandora do- yells from the tavern, those are notoriously big. <laughs> Jake Weiss. All that aside, I I know it's, it's not nice to have someone yell about your poop. <laughs> but here, here's what I want to say. What if we announce mm. we're Team Catapult after we successfully do this? Boom, done. That way, if we mess up, <laughs> we don't ruin the good name of Team Catapult. But if we <laughs> succeed, everyone's like, oh, who's Team Catapult? Those guys are great. That sounds awesome. And I was thinking after we, you know, save the day and everybody doesn't die as we're power walking to the mayor's. <laughs> Maybe they'll have I'm a little some... slower. I got 90 pounds on my back. Oh, it's all good. Do some squats while you're here. Okay. Uh, I <laughs> some protein no, I don't do squats. Maybe there will be people who want some deliveries done or something and we can just roll it around. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, just a thought. Yeah. I'm here for it. Oh, the mayor's house. Knock, knock. He says, there's a 12-year-old child outside who needs to be let in. <laughs> Greeting, citizen. Hail- We're from the keepers. Hail and well met. friends, Jonah here to say thank you for listening to this episode of Kinoko Origins. I'd like to take a moment to tell you about our fabulous partner, Dice Envy. This week, check out the Will-O-Wisp set, a clear acrylic dice set with iridescent micro-glitter and pearlescent wisps of blue and purple swirls that give off an otherworldly, mysterious, and maybe even sinister aura. Ooh. If you're looking to add to your dice hoard, you can get 10% off of your purchase at Dice Envy by going to DiceEnvy.com slash QuestCo or by using promo code QuestCo at checkout. That's Q-U-E-S-T-C-O for 10% off of your entire order. If you're a fan of the Quest Company, please do us a favor and go to our page over on the Apple Podcasts app or wherever you listen to your podcasts and leave us a rating and review. It is a huge help to us. We read every review that comes in, and getting more of those really does help us boost our visibility. 
And if you love what we do here at the Quest Company and you would like to take that next step in supporting us, please consider becoming a Patreon subscriber. For as little as $2 a month, you can help us with necessary expenses, help us continue to improve the quality of the show, and get access to exclusive content and patron rewards. If you'd like to give us that support, you can do so at patreon.com slash questcompanypodcast. You can find the link to the Patreon on our website, questcompanypodcast.com. If you'd like to contact us, you can do so directly through our website or by finding us on Instagram and Twitter at The Quest Company. You can also come hang out with us in our Discord. If you need links to any of those things, go check out our website. It's all there. We know that word of mouth is the best way to get people listening to a new podcast, and that is especially true for independent shows like ours. So we would love to see you posting about the podcast and telling your friends about us using hashtag the Quest Company or hashtag Kanoko Origins. And if you have fan art of the podcast that you want to share, just make sure when you post it to tag us so that we can see it. Tagging us is really the best way to make sure we see the stuff you're posting and the best way to guide folks directly to us. Speaking of fan art, we've gotten some more awesome art since our last episode. Thank you to Brad at Brad Oxnum Sketch Art on Instagram for sending us a couple of fantastic pieces, both Virgil and Jaquie's Pokemon teams. Virgil's are all adorable, and Jaquie's team all look like hardened criminals. (laughs) It's great. Also, thank you to Peach at Peach Doodles on Twitter for an amazing drawing of Uwu, Baby Doll Eyes Shiv. It is very powerful. If you haven't seen those, go check them out on our Instagram and Twitter or on the fan art gallery on the website. And if you have fan art of the podcast that you want to share, just make sure when you post it to tag us so that we can see it. I'd like to take a moment to thank all of the wonderful artists whose music is featured in this episode. Thank you to Braxton Burks and Materia Collector for the songs The Adventure Begins, Trouble at Slowpoke Well, and The Road to Fall Arbor Town. Thank you to Michael and Game Chops for Azalea Town. Thank you to Insane in the Rain Music for Spinda's Lament. Thank you to Track Tribe for the song Walk Through the Park. Thanks to Rock Al for Try Music. Uh, familiar, that one. Thank you to Coyote Hearing for the song Fun House. Thank you to Dark Fantasy Studio for the song Ashes. And thank you to TabletopAudio.com for providing the ambient sounds. That's all for me, so let's get back to the action. Thank you for joining us here at the Quest Company. You all have gone to town hall, yeah? I'm going to town. I assume it's his house. <laughs> so It's a big house. <laughs> so you all have come in, uh, just for reference again, so you've come in from the western side of Route 9. Yeah. yeah, from Route yeah. 9. And then you've come in, and right there on your way in was uh, Crafty Crag. the Crafty Crag. So you all have found yourselves in front of the town hall now, and you're just knocking on the door, trying mm. to be let in. Hello, uh, moment. I'm 12. I need... To be let in by an adult. Steal your lore. <laughs> give me us. Give give me our. Give us our. Lo- your lore, old man, woman. Give Give us your lore, old person. Person. <laughs> Got it. So as it's you're there, day. as you're there for a moment, uh, uh, see the door creak open, uh, and there is a young fella who who has opened the door. What do they look like, Virgil? What would you say is the main economy of this town? Well, like, like it, import, export. Like, what, what, what is this town other than just crossroads? Is, mm-hmm. is I mean, is that what it, it really is built on? I mean, there's a lot of, like, traveling merchant type stuff. Yeah. Uh, so as you're looking around, there is, like, the sort of uh, artisan alley where, you know, people oh, can't wait. make stuff to, you can't know. Can't wait. <laughs> going to destroy it, I assume, tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, you know, people make stuff to, you know, sell for, for whatever, um, you know, keepsakes for folks passing by, things like that, potteries and things like that. Uh, sick and then booties there's for Chud. <laughs> some sick, sick, sick Chud booties. Sick Jordans for Chud. 
But so a, a lot of, you know, if there's any sort of like stable economy thing, it's, you know, Mostly having trade. lodging for folks coming through, trade, cool. stuff like that. It's not like a big, like, we make a bunch of this type of place. Cool. Then I think this is a uh, larger, uh, a girthier sort of man. Mm -hmm. Clearly like a dad bod with some gut. Mm -hmm. Maybe like uh, kind of like coins. Yeah, kind of like the from kind stuff. of Gerudo vibe, it, honestly, yeah. like Breath of the Wild Gerudo. But like also... A crazy awesome mustache, just big black bushy mustache. It's a, like curled. A really powerful black oh, yeah. mustache. Yeah. Hell yeah! Nice. Is that cool? Are we living in a world? Yeah, sure. I think he's got a red nose. Like not like not like Rudolph, but like yeah. either sunburnt or has been hitting the bottle a little bit. Right. Uh, can I? What 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 do you require? Halen Wilmette. Halen Wilmette. Uh, 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 how how can I help you? This is Virgil. Uh, that's Jayquees. And we're with the Keepers. We're here to fight the bug or whatever it is that's coming through. Have you seen the beast that's uh, coming monsters. through every night? Yeah. We're your backup. I've, I've, I haven't seen it, but um, you're here for... Oh, oh yes. We're with yes, the Keepers. Yes. yes. J oh, Datura told the mayor that... Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, Are you the mayor? No. No. Oh. No. That's 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 my mom. Um, Would you... My, oh. my mother. Um. Would you uh, he just uh, come come in? And he sort of like fumbles the door open so that okay. you all can come yeah, in. Yeah, cool. Okay. I, 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 a 12-year-old boy, willingly go inside this house. <laughs> I got Chevy Chev out, by the way. Nice. I have Ellie out. You all head in, and uh, this fellow, uh, he says, uh, my, my name is Boaz, by the way. Uh, he takes you Boaz. into this Biblical. office. And you see that there is a woman at the desk in the office, uh, an older lady with gray curly hair uh, hanging over her uh, sort of long face. You know, her her son Boaz is a, a wider fellow, but she's got a, more of a, more of a slender build. This older lady, and she says, "Boaz, who who is this that you brought? Well, these are um, well, uh, you can." Um, Hail and well met. I'm Hail and well met. I'm Jayquees. I'm Virgil. We're with the Keepers. Mm-hmm. And we're here to deal with your bug or Pokemon issue. The the monsters. The monsters. Yeah. We're, yeah. We're here to solve that problem. Yes. For the, you. Nailed it, by the way. You're, you're here. You're here to deal with the beasts. Well, all right. Um. Well, what what can I what can I do for you? May I ask your name? Oh, I, how rude of me. I'm terribly sorry. Not I, at all. It's been a very stressful time uh, for the past week or so. My we're name is solve it. Well, thank you for that. I, I, uh, yeah, good job. Thank should you make, in advance. Should I make blind promises? I mean, maybe not. But okay, uh, don't worry about it. I'll stop. Sorry, I just had to confer with my associate there. Yeah, we do that sometimes. It seems that you have quite the rapport between you. Um, my my name is Ezra. I am the mayor. Yes, if there's if there's anything I can do to to assist with. Whatever it is that you people do, uh, she just sort of like looks nervously at the the muscular, scarred Evie on the ground. Oh, he's okay. Chev, go play. And I think I send him off just to another, you know, to burgle things in their house. Well, don't call me out. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I ask. <laughs> and I ask. <laughs> He's really fine. I'm, he's just a little unruly. He's not used to being in in under roofs. Yeah, he's more of an out, out outdoor Evie. Yeah, Evie. Woo. Oh God. <laughs> well, not right now, Jeff. <laughs> it's Jeff. And I, I think he like I don't calms down and slinks Jeff. off. That's out of character. Uh, I, I guess my first question is: Have you seen them? If not, who have they taken? It's Ellie. She's a good girl. Sorry, she has. Always, the road's dusty. She's itchy. Oh no, you're 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 all right. Um, well, uh, I have not seen them. I've only I've only been able to gather a bit of information yeah. uh, from people around. Um, well, uh, some folks think that they are uh, perhaps what might evolve from some of the uh, unpleasant little stingy creatures that that live nearby. Perhaps oh. some of them managed to get strong enough to evolve. Um, Unfortunately enough. Terrifying. Um, so now they've made their way into town. From what we've heard, it seems like there's two of them that have been coming in. Uh-huh. Um, Is it the same thing? Two of the same thing? Yes. From what we've gathered, it seems like two different things. Okay, that's what I thought from what? the tracks. Where do the little ones come from? The, the little the ones? The little locals. Uh, well, the little local ones, mostly mostly around the desert. Um, Virtual, you're a genius. 
what, what's up with the desert? Is there anything out there that we should be uh, aware of? Like, are there people who live in the desert or projects or anything out in the desert? <sighs> As far as I know, very few people who live in the desert. I mean, the the closest of, of anyone, you know, as far as we're concerned, is is Nima, who Nima. has a farm out that way. Yeah, well, uh, that's last... where we're going next. Oh well, well, good. Uh, she's she's had a bit of a, a rough day. Uh, oh. As far as that, she's she's sort of got the last bit of farmable land, really, before it it gets into just straight desert. Yeah. But then, I, besides that. I, I don't know of any projects or anything going on that way. Um, and I, I don't know if there's anything going on uh, in, in Chaga Town to the south. I'm, yeah. I'm not uh, completely yeah. sure if anything's coming from there and has anything to do with it. That's really the closest town as far as yeah. relation to the desert, so I'm, I'm not sure. Interesting. But what, what I can tell you is that we've, from word from everyone, you know, the consistent thing seems to be that there are two of whatever this is and that they're two different creatures that seem yeah. to be Big hun- and bad. hunting together. Hunting? How many people has it taken that we know of? Uh, four that we know of. Wah. Sorry. I was just thinking about human individual souls experiencing fear, and I just was washed with, like, a I- wave of pain. Taken or eaten? I mean, I'm, I'm not planning on telling anybody, but, like, I just, I kind of want to know going in. She just sort of rubs her temples for a and second. And I use puppy dog eyes, because I'm 12. Ooh, woo. She rubs her temples for a moment before she says, taken, but there haven't been bodies, but. All right, we need to get a move on. Um, okay. Is there anything else we should know about the town? Well, I mean, everything is really closing up, obviously, since it is now pretty much nighttime. Yeah. Uh, you know, everybody's closing up shop and head into their homes, boarding up the windows and doors, as it were. Makes sense. Uh, you know, we're still trying to do everything we can to stay alive while, you know, it's daytime. There's still people traveling through, you know, uh, yeah. merchants on the road and everything. There were actually four that I mentioned. There, there were three people in town, but the fourth one we were kind of just assuming uh, because it was... Uh, what one of the uh, merchants that uh, is here in town, uh, Elki, uh, just happened upon a uh, an abandoned and wrecked, frankly, uh, cart. Where uh, on the route coming from uh, Route Fifteen, uh, coming from Chanterelle City, still adjacent to the desert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. I I, I think we'll check out Nima's next, or or maybe just cast around town see if we notice anything else. I feel like we should go straight to Nima's because yeah. also if we can find any of the smaller Pokemon, we'll know. What I we're can maybe with. figure out, yeah, an idea of what we're what we're dealing with. Absolutely. Thank you. Of course. Is there is there anything else I can do for you all, or do these come pretty regularly at night? Like now, is it like pretty much every night? It is. It has gotten more frequent. Yes. At and the most narratively impactful moment in uh, the night. Yeah, usually around you know a, a really thematic time. Something like, like a bell would toll at it to let you know that a new day has dawned. Probably. A new day of terror. You know, it's really rough too because tonight's like a blood moon. So. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm uh, just kidding. No, I, I, I know kidding. that because I know everything. Um, that's the feat I took it. You know everything. You know everything at all times. <laughs> Thanks so much. Um, We're going to get moving, I think. Yeah, well, uh, oh, yeah, please. One, uh, Just real fast, and I, I Andrew forgot it, but Virgil didn't. So give me like two seconds, and it's going to come back to me. Ezra, Boaz, Chantarel, Krimini, Chaga, Mm-mm. Deathcap, Mm-mm. Nima, Mm-mm. Datura, Pokemon, no, it, was, Jake it was important, but it's fine. Uh, uh, bye. <laughs> right, well, wait, 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 wait b- b- before you go, thank you for coming and for helping us. Uh, I don't know if this will help at all, but and she reaches uh, back behind the desk and she pulls a out gun. a super potion. Yeah, <laughs> she pulls out a real gun. Uh, no, you she should p- have been using this a long time ago. <laughs> super potions. Yeah, she gives you each a super potion. She says, "I don't know how or why you people do what you do, but." Please Trauma. just help us. The universe. Sure. Sure. Thank you for helping us help you help us all. And I leave. <laughs> Boaz stumbles and helps you to the door. Meanwhile, Chev was robbing the place blind. <laughs> no, I, I think he was just prowling around investigating if there was anything to investigate. Like crime evidence. Like crime evidence. Like whether or not these people are responsible. Causing, yeah, evidence of impropriety. 
uh, 12. A 12? He's just like gnawing on a rat a towel when you come out. Dang it, Chev. Okay. Hey, I'm just going to peek my head into the alley and then let's head over to Nemus. I'm an idiot. What? Never mind. It's fine. You I'll remember your question? No. No, no, no. We're good. Changing out your that, Pokemon? That was Andrew. Nope, we're good. Oh, we're just going to keep on going. I'm just going to literally just poke my head in there, see if there's anything screaming out at me in the alley, and if not, moving on. In the alley, like... The artisan's alley right behind the, uh... Oh, behind they the, would behind all be out of the businesses by this point. Yeah. yeah. I I'm not, like, shopping. I'm like, is there a big corpse on the ground? Right, you know right, I mean? right, 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 right. <laughs> there is no big corpse on the ground. Okay. Uh, it does seem like most of the places are boarded like a up. bazaar. <laughs> Is it like a bazaar? Is it like yeah. a small little market? Yeah, it's like a little market. Type I cannot wait for us thing. to fix this town and go there. I want to go there so bad. Uh, Nemus? Yeah, let's head to Nemus. Let's just power through to Nemus <laughs> as fast as we can. Yeah. Great, so you all head over to Nemus Farm can over I on the make, southeast side of town. Uh, can I get Ellie to do a perception check along the way for like other like localized Pokemon? Sure. Uh, yeah. Chevy sure. will help. Because he is proficient. Nice. Oh, cool. So she's going to make it an advantage? Yeah, sure. Lordy. If he's helping. Uh, that's a 14 plus 5, 19 plus her proficiency, which is now what, 3? Yeah, because she leveled up to 5. So yeah. that's 20. Or wait, no, no, no. It's still 2 because she's at level she 4. She didn't. Okay, so that's 2d1. 21? 21. 21. You're looking for other local Pokemon uh, stuff like Especially, that? like, things that might evolve into what we've had, like, the description of. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm probably looking with her. Mm -hmm. With that, then, as Ellie and Chev are sort of taking point and looking around for any sort of local Pokemon, you do actually spot uh, just a, a little skittering. Uh, it is weird because, like, this town has a smaller than average, it seems, amount of Pokemon just sort of in the vicinity. Huh. Like, there's not a ton of trainers in a ton of places, right? right. Um, but that's, this one specifically is a yeah. little more barren. Like, in, in other places like Shiitake, there's usually, like, a, a decent amount more Pokemon, like, just sort of around lower of all forms of things, you know, yeah. that just sort of exist in the space yeah. and, uh, you know, maybe sometimes help people, things like that, um, and are just around. Uh, it definitely seems like there is less here. Like, it is a little weird that you didn't perhaps see a few more Rattatas scuttering through the alley or things like that. I think your intuition is correct about the ecosystems being in misalignment. But as you were looking around, even though it does seem like there is a smaller than average number of Pokemon here, uh, with your 21, as you're looking around, you do see a, t -t 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 a skittering little uh, scorpion-looking Pokemon going behind some buildings, uh, more toward the residential uh, area as you all are heading out to Nemas. What do you want to do? Pokedex. I would like four to. plus <laughs> one. I would like to Pokedex it. Yeah, go for it. Um, could I also, as well as Pokedexing it, do my little thing where I figure out what type it is. Yeah, totally. I know it's kind of like moving quick. Yeah, no, I, I think that's fine. Especially if, like, we'll say the Jaquies just straight up kind of Pokedexed it, and so then you can oh, look okay. more kind of what's going uh, on, so you can still roll for it. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, I mean, since, like, since you don't actually have to roll just to Pokedex oh, something. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I forgot about it's that. more for the extras. I see. Natural. Natural 20. This that you see skittering around here is a Skorupi. Scroopy. It is a small purple scorpion like Pokemon uh, that does have like a stingy tail that's got um, these two barbs on the end that do look smaller than the sort of holes that you've seen in buildings and such. But you, you see this small little guy skittering around the place, and it is a poison slash bug type. Jaquees. Yeah. Did you see the Scroopy? It's real creepy. Well, it's not, it, they're kind of cute. With okay. your natural 20, <laughs> with your natural 20, I will oh. also give you that having read about you know, Pokemon in this kind of environment and uh, Orange Islands, maybe. Orange Islands, maybe. You are aware of the fact that it loses the bug typing and it changes to something else if it evolves. Interesting. Mm. I bet it's rock or ground. Yeah, probably. I don't want to work on Nima's farm no more. To Nima's farm? Great, so you all head over to Nima's farm. 
there have been less and less people also around the place as you've gone about your business. But you approach this farm and you see uh, that you actually have to kind of leave the main part of town a little bit to get out to where this is. Mm -hmm. Uh, The town is not walled or anything like that. It's just, you know, the closer clumps of buildings and this one is is further away. But you all approach and uh, what's Nima look like? Uh, I think she's out there just sort of uh, finishing up some repairs. Sullen eyed with tawny (laughs) skin. Uh, No, I think she is a very industrious sort of, you know, uh, dirt and oil or whatever hands and, Mm -hmm. uh, 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 you know, various loops with tools and stuff. I think she might be like, what did you say she was doing? She was finishing up what now? She was finishing up some repairs and you see that there's uh, also uh, another fella that is uh, helping her out there. Uh, Seems like they're boarding some things up and uh, just trying to sort of stabilize, you know, uh, there's there's a large amount of damage, uh, more so than you've kind of seen in some other places. A fellow with, with strong, dark features, uh, and who actually has a, a machop there uh, helping them as well. Uh, she has uh, big curly hair that is held up by a uh, cloth of some sort. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. So you all approach and... Um, I think that um, it, it takes a second for them to uh, register that you're there uh, before they say, oh, um, uh, hello, hello. Hey, oh, we uh, probably should have, like, said hi instead of just standing and staring at you. Hi, hello. Uh, hey, how, lo- how long have you been standing there? Not long. Not very long. Okay, well, Just that's enough good. to be uh, hail and well met. Hail and well met. I was a million miles away. Hail um, and well met. I wasn't. We're here to help with the problem. Yeah, we're with the keepers. Good. And we're going we're gonna to help. Well, well, uh, what, what can I, what can I, what can I do to, um... May I ask your names? Oh, sorry, yes. <laughs> wow, we're all very flustered in this town. I can, can imagine. As what? you can, as you, yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm Nima, and then the, the fellow next to her says, And I am, uh, Jalal. Hi, Jalal. Hi, Nima. Oh, uh, Vir- uh Jaquees? Virgil. Well, it's, it's nice to meet you, but, um, so you're here with the keepers. What, well, yes, um, we were just finishing up some repairs to my home, as you, uh, as you could see. We had a visit last night. Yeah, I wonder if you could tell us about that. What do you know about it? About the beasts? Yeah, where it came, where they came from, how they do the things they do, what they look like. Are they like the purple scorpions? Yeah, we, we saw a scroopy on the way, and we thought it was maybe the evolved form of the scroopy. I I would say that's probably a safe bet for the one. Um, it definitely. Uh, it, it has the same sort of uh, pincers, but it, it does have a, a larger... It's almost like their mm. arms, but they Mandibles. protrude from its face. Mandibles, yes. Terrifying. Um, it's It Mandibles. was awful. Uh, that one and then the other one sort of was gliding in after it. They, they like tore... flying? Gliding? Mm-hmm. Like flying? Yes. Like it was flying? Yes. Terrifying. I don't know. I just saw that it was in the air, but it was already, you know, no, yeah. dark yeah. at night. I honestly, it wasn't until sure. they started making a ruckus that I even knew. So I just saw it in the air at some point, but it was uh, a bit hard to tell. So I, but I, I, I woke up um, when I heard Ooh. them, but I, um, well, they, they ripped through my garden. Uh, you see that the, the garden is just like wrecked. Um, there, there were some Pokemon that um, sort of, lived there that I mean they weren't really mine just sort of wild ones that you know plant ones and things that sort of lived in the area there were you know some cacnea around and oddish and things like that um they're not here today and then uh I I heard the banging on my house and it it persisted for a while they were uh I I was just pushing things up against the doors and windows trying to just trying to keep them from getting in but um I well eventually they left um hey it's going to be okay. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> it is going to be okay. Is that you helping me? You know it, baby. <laughs> oh, God. That's pretty brutally low. Evie. <laughs> Evie. Oh, no. <laughs> that is a 16. A 16? Nima seems comforted by this a bit, and she says, um, yes, uh, thankfully, uh, Jalal has been here to help me today. Yes, it has been uh, busy, busy over this past week. Machop and I have uh, had our hands full. The Machop just salutes in a very, like, karate chop sort of shape. Hail and well met. Hail and well met, little buddy. The people it's taken, is there a pattern to it? Uh, not not that I know of, no. Were um, they just out and about at night? Well, the the people who disappeared, um, well, the first one, obviously, it was it was just like any other night. Yeah, it was later, so not too many folks were out. Yeah. 
you know, where it is that they might have been going to or from the, the tavern. I'm not really sure, but that that was, well, it just sort of happened there. It seemed like there was a bit of a scuffle of some sort in the square. But so the next day they were gone, and then we, we'd seen, you know, that there were what, whatever remains of whatever struggle might have happened there. And then we, people started getting a little more cautious and things like that. But then over the course of the next couple of nights, maybe... Hava and Solomon just didn't believe it. I don't know or what was going on, but so then, then Solomon, they, hmm, uh, Solomon, yeah, yes. I uh, just uh, the other other the other people over the town, yes. Um, and then um, uh, apparently, uh, just a couple of nights ago, Elki found the abandoned cart that seemed to have some similar damage. So, how far up the way is the cart? The cart? Oh, it was less than a few miles down the road. It was still hmm. relatively close to town. Well, thanks so much. Uh, is there anything you need to know? You can think to ask, Virgil? This flying thing. Yeah. Is it that's... based on a on another Pokemon? Is there a smaller version that you've seen? Yeah, do you know something that's, like, smaller that looks like it? She's gonna make a nature check to find out. I've only ever seen them once or twice, and they usually don't come in town as much. You know, they're obviously the Skroopy sort of skitter around here. Uh, but most of the time, Gligar is a Pokemon that is sort of around some. Oh. Uh, it, you know, it's, uh, again, it, it, it glides more, but it has that sort of scorpion tail to it. Um, but normally they don't come around town. They're more of, you know, if there's rock formations and things like that out in the oh. desert, they kind of glide around on those. But this was I definitely bigger than a sort of standard Gligar or anything like that. I think maybe we should check out the cart? That's what I was thinking, too. Before maybe see some, what was on the cart. Before they start some, you know, but trap should we go tonight. See the, should we see the cart, or should we go see Elki? Well, the, found the cart. I, I don't think the cart is still out on the road. Or did it, they bring it, it in? Cleaned up. Um, uh, I, I think that maybe somebody was, you know, trying to, you know, get parts or something, or just sort of fix it up or anything you think like you still that. Still go look in the area. It's either uh, that or the desert, and I don't want to go wandering in the around, desert. We could also look around the town some more and try and figure out. I mean, if I don't, I don't know where the cart is at now. I, somebody might know. Elky might know. Can I, I look at the these. damage to the house? Oh yeah, sure. Just like try and figure out a little bit more. Yeah, give me an investigation check. Uh, it's ten. Ten uh, looks to be more the same. More the same. Uh, the okay. same kind of damage from like, pinchers. You see whatever dun, 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 claw marks sort of climbing up the side of the house. Mandibles. Mandibles. Well, thanks, Nima. Yeah, it was nice meeting you, and it's gonna be okay, cause cause we're we're here. Can we find Elky somewhere in town? Yeah. Have you gone by the artisans' alley at all? Just poke we, my head in. We peeked at it. And and she didn't didn't seem like she was there, or we didn't know to look for her. We'll check it out. She was. Jalal says, "Oh well, she is. Uh, she does a lot of uh, pottery. So uh, yes, um, we'll check it a out. Potter house, a house with pots. Yeah, pottery and just clay crafting in general. Uh, knickknacks. Uh, yeah, some knickknacks. You know, useful sort of uh, things you can make with, with clay. You know, yeah. the things that you make with clay. The ghost. We'll go check it out." If she if she's not there, you might try uh, the residential uh, district. She may be at her home there. If she's not at the artisan's alley, if you but. had to make a guess of one of the two places where she would be, <laughs> would you just like just off the top of your head? If it's dark, probably home. Okay, residential. Do you know what her house looks like? I've never been to her house. I we'll go know. shout. Okay, in we'll the just go shout in the street. That's. <laughs> I, I'll just. I'm a 12 year old shouting in the street at night. It's fine. You've well, never seen her house. Jalal, Nima. In a small town. Thanks for your help. <laughs> <laughs> just Stay safe tonight. And, just uh, love saying mean things in that voice because it's so disarming. And then saying and no, then like, no. Oh. And Virgil didn't say it. No. <laughs> he didn't. No. He didn't. No, he didn't say it. Reverse I just said it. I just said it in his voice, but like he didn't. You're right. I just won't make more. I won't make goofs anymore then. <laughs> Good plan. This is fine. We know that great. goofs aren't allowed on this show. We've it's never fine. we've never once. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> We're rocketing through some plot tonight. I love it. Take it easy, be safe, and we'll try to knock these these bugs on their, their bug butts. Yeah, if you're looking for the whatever the, whatever these beasts are. The garden's kind of trashed, but if you find anything that's helpful for you, I'm going to have to start over again anyway, so 
feel free to try and scrounge something up. I've, I've gotten, I think, most of what was there, what could be salvaged, but if there's anything left... Uh, I, if you need to go ahead and leave, that's fine. But I'm gonna look as, at these as scarring. two velociraptors that stare at a, a limping cow. Uh, yes, Chevy and Ellie. So, what have we got for investigation and survival then? Nineteen. Twenty-six. Nineteen and a twenty-six. Jayquees, you find three citrus berries. Pew 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 pew. That's after your little bonus. I give one to my good friend, Virgil. And Virgil, you, with a 26, find a miracle seed. What? The holder adds proficiency bonus to damage from grass-type moves. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. Uh, What? Look, man, when that threshold crosses 25, there's got to be something cool. There's so many good items. Plus, you just find stuff laying on the ground all the time in the games anyway. Leech Seed will now do 2d4 plus 4. <gasps> I feel so much better about this fight with these bugs. Let's just sit down and wait. I'm kidding. I'm I, a little I worried about that. the poison aspect. Yeah, I am too. A little bit. With all of this in mind and looking out into the night, I am They're going both to poison, I think. Though. Take the bone out of Chevy's mouth and give him one of my petcha berries to hold. Nice. He is holding a petcha berry. Move. Nice. So then with that, you all uh, do your bit of scavenging and you leave Nima's farm heading to the residential area of Amanita Town to see if you can pick up any more clues as to what these fell beasts lurking in the night may be. And that is where we will end this episode.